welcome everyone. Uh, you are a very select group. Because of the virus that we are involved in here, we limited uh, the a number of attendances. So everybody here this morning is a VIP. Uh, I will tell you that right now. We're delighted to be here. It's hard to believe that three, a little less than three and a half years ago, this was a vacant building. And the, the generosity of Marlboro County citizens and the Marlboro County Council, uh, they offered us this building to put a campus here. And it has been just phenomenal as far as what has happened, as far as physical space is concerned. But more importantly, what has happened as far as students attending Northeastern Technical College here at the Marlboro campus. It's been very successful. And this morning's event is just another sign that this is going to continue to grow. So we are most appreciative all the way around. I need to recognize a few people here that are spawning. A formal introduction will be a little bit later. Greg Elmore here is the HR Director for Harbor Freight East Division. Uh, Greg will be speaking a little bit later. Uh, Robbie Robinson is the Vice President of East Coast Distribution. Uh, that handles the whole eastern part of the United States and he ships all over the United States. We're delighted to have both of these gentlemen here. Representative Pat Hennigan, our partner in crime. <laughs> <laughs> we rely on Pat a lot of times up in Columbia because, you know, we have to deal with the political uh, situation and Pat is always very helpful. And she's delighted to be here this morning with her client. Thank you. Thank you, we're glad to have you from Commerce here today uh, and to see what we're doing in rural South Carolina yes, because actually that's where the action is taking place nowadays. Yes. And I look around the room and I don't want to miss anyone. I see Clay Young sitting back in the corner here. Clay is the County Administrator for Dillon County and also the Economic Development Director. And I know Ron Munrig is around here somewhere. He's hiding out with a mask. There he is. <laughs> Ron. Thank you again for your foresight in looking at Northeastern Technical College and saying, hey, this form of grocery store will work, and we appreciate it deeply, we really do. I saw Jason staying in here somewhere, right here, uh, County Council Chair, again, was very much involved with this building, and we thank you very much for hearing. If I'm missing anyone, please let me know. If not, welcome. We've got a lot of exciting things going on here, and really, if you're retired, you might want to get a job with Harbor Freight, so fill out that resume this afternoon. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I want to say a couple things about, uh, I can remember when I first started here four years ago, um, I'd come over and met with Ron, and Ron was new in his position, and I was new, and we just started talking about what we could do in Marlboro County, and what we could do as a vision of how we could change and partner with industry to do things. And this is a great example of how industry, the public sector, the county, the citizens, and even uh, Marlboro High School is gonna be a partner in this, and we're rolling out a program this fall to bring students from the high school to do this program to uh, get this opportunity. And Harbor Freight is an excellent paying member of our community with outstanding jobs and huge growth potential for, for young students to go to work for them and to grow with that company. So we're very proud of this partnership. Uh, we're excited how this is gonna work, I'll say real quick, is that they will offload product, learn to run, an op, uh, run, learn to run a forklift, they will sort the product, put it on the shelves, then they'll get pick orders, like it's going out to a store. They'll pull those items, repalletize it, reload it in the truck. So they'll learn the whole process from inventory, number of reading, all the process of logistics to help them understand what goes on in the full-size warehouse. And the idea of this was to, be, to build a mini warehouse connected to Harbor Freight so they see the same inventory system, they see the same controls, the same processes here before they go over there so they can be successful. So we're very proud of the partnership, and Greg, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Dr. Wagner, and uh, thank you, everybody. Just a, uh, a couple folks as we were, uh, as they were introducing uh, people out here that I, I, I do uh, just want to say thank you to. I, I heard Commerce was out here, and I just want to mention something about Commerce. Uh, there's been a few issues that we've had, and yeah, I've reached out to Commerce, and they've always responded, so I, I'm, I'm actually glad to see you here today. Uh, whether or not it was transportation or something related to uh, 
some other work that we're doing. So, so very much thank you for, for, for coming out and everything that Commerce does. Um, but um, a couple other things I do want to recognize real quick. Scott Van Pelt that we've been working with very specifically. Uh, as long as I've been in this business, trying to partner with folks to help us out, you know, Scott really understands what the business needs. I was just sharing that with Dr. Wagner earlier. You know, when, I'm having, when we're having conversations with Scott on issues that, that we may have, he understands it. And uh, I, I don't think I've come across somebody uh, as well uh, or knowledgeable about what the needs of business is as, as Scott. So, so thank you, Scott. Very much appreciate it. And then the other thing, real quick, a uh, couple of folks I want to recognize. Um, uh, Terrence Anderson over here, he's our assistant general manager um, out at, uh, at Harbor Freight. He's got a, a, a huge job out there, and uh, Terrence does a, a, just a tremendous job uh, for us. Aaron Haddock, he's the guy on the floor really driving the operations for us, uh, interacting with our associates every day, does a, does a fantastic job. Uh, and then last, I just also want to mention Riley. I know uh, uh, Dr. Wagner uh, uh, recognized him a little while ago, but. Robbie actually runs this whole uh, East Coast operations out here. Uh, me and Robbie have been here uh, together. We've known each other for many years, and there's a little bit of a funny story. Harbor Freight actually was aggressively recruiting Robbie years ago, and um, Robbie said, uh, he called me up one day and said, hey, this company's recruiting me. I was actually up in Pennsylvania at the time. He said, this company's recruiting me, and uh, he said, I told him I wouldn't go unless you would go. And uh, so Harbor Freight hired both of us, but they, I don't think they really wanted me. And so thank you, Robbie got me a job and I'm still hanging out. I think there's been some times when I've been on a thread about ready to fall off the cliff and he always pulls me back. And you know, not, not only is he great at what he does, leading people, if you see some of his posts on Facebook, it's uh, very powerful, people really love him, uh, but he's a great guy on top of being a great, uh, great operator. Uh, and then just real quickly, Harbor Freight, you know, uh, we recently announced, our, our, our owner and founder, Eric Schmidt, is, um, uh, we're a privately held company, it's family owned, uh, doing a lot, not just to, uh, uh, from a business perspective, but we're, we're involved in the community. Uh, we donated all of our inventory and PPE when COVID came out to hospitals across America. Uh, we're committed to our community. It's one of our, our core principles. And then an another one is collaboration. And working with Northeastern Technical College and the, the partnership with, with, is probably the finest uh, example of collaboration. The, what, what you've done here is, is, is just tremendous. It's gonna make us better. We've recently raised our entry level wages for a Harbor Freight employee, $16, very entry level, dollars an hour. That's a good wage in this area. Um, we've raised those wages, but what we're looking for is we're looking for a, a, a work-ready workforce. Not just someone off the street, but somebody that's work-ready, and this is gonna make that happen. So, uh, from Harbor Freight, from, from me personally, uh, as a, uh, a leader in HR for the company, thank you so much. We appreciate each of you. What? <laughs>